All right, people, what is up? Welcome to some City Skylines and Movie Finkel 11. And today, I am bringing you City Skylines. Never done a city simulator on this channel. Real looking forward to it. Was going to do some SimCity. Started playing it, started recording that, realized SimCity is crap. And this game came out. I fell in love. And here we are. I'm going to do this map. Uh, this is a modded map, by the way which is called Drebbel Dam Z. It's based off somewhere in the Netherlands, I think. Denmark, maybe. I'm not actually that sure. And this is actually going to be St. Finkel. There we go. And start our game. Alright, now Six Skylines is Paradox... Uh, no. Colossal Orders City Simulator. If you don't know, Colossal Order did, um... Uh, Cities of Motion and Cities of Motion 2, both relatively successful games. I, I've never played the two of them. Um, they seemed... I think it was an interesting concept. I, I never went through to buy them myself, but I think the concept is really interesting. Not building a city, just controlling the traffic and transportation. It's kind of cool. And then... Um, here we go. I'll get some more into that later. Right now we have this to attend to. And we're going to start with building a road here. Now as soon as you build this first road it unlocks all these other roads. So that we can easily um, get rid of that. Now that's kind of loud. So let me just lower the settings a bit. Alright, and hopefully it's not too loud. Um, we'll just go up to say here. And there we go. Now let's see, I would like an industrial area in here. And let's do an off ramp. Don't have those unlocked yet. Let's see. Well, I'm going to do a two-way road here. Which means, which, yeah, we'll do a two-way here. And we'll open that two-way. We'll go... Oh, um, see here. Now, I'd like to do something fancy, like put a roundabout right here. That's fancy, isn't it? I think it's pretty, pretty freaking fancy. Really nice. Now we're gonna need power. I'll get to that in a minute. Now two-way here. Fortunately, this is a one-way. So I don't want to replace you with a two-way, which doesn't actually create traffic lights. Oh, because this is a one-way. That's two. All right. Yep, that works. Now we have. This is a... Now, I'm not going to try and build a grid city. I'll say that now. Grid city is not my goal. This is just um, what I'm going to do uh, to start our city off. And let me just... Okay. So let's... See, the water's going this way, so we want to put our water intake valve upstream here. And then we want to put our water out, uh, sewage output valve there. And, sorry. Um, now, one thing that's really different about this game uh, from SimCity, at least the newest one, is that you have to lay down your you have to lay down uh, wires for houses, and you have to do all the work for the other thing, which is um, something I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, the plumbing. That stuff. Alright. Now, we're in extreme deficit, so... And that's how this game... It's, it's this is one of those games where you start off in big deficit. 
There's just no way around it. Now, I'd like to do a curvy road. down some plumbing. Put some stuff down there. And we'll go there. Now go across the highway like this. And voila. Now all we have to do is queue up houses for construction. Okay. I have an autosave mod, so when the game freezes up like this, that just means there's an autosave involved or going on. And then to queue this up, that should be fine. Yep. And now all of this. And we'll just pop, pop. Well actually this is all this. at extreme um, deficit of uh, money, as you can see, quite a bit. And now, we press play, and stuff should start popping up here momentarily. Let's wait. Oh, there you go. There's some houses there. It's the beginning. Nothing else yet, just a couple houses. Let's see, who is the first people to move in? Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. It's gonna be this house right here. Where is it? Yes. The beach residence. Hmm. Well, we've got no beaches living here. I mean, there's a beach there. What? The water in here is a different shade of blue than the water way out there, which is weird. As you can see guys, traffic is a massive problem in the city. It's just what happens when so many people try moving in at once, you know. We get all these cars. And just look at that. Wow. Alright, we're going to increase speed because this is ridiculously slow. Alright, now let me just take the power here and let me... Now I think that should still keep the power flowing. There we go. And allow some extra houses to be built here. Oh, we have shops now too. And trucks. And um, that roundabout, guys, is gonna come in handy later, but not right now. Right now, it's just kinda cool. I think it's cool at least. Oh, okay, now you can see the beginning traffic of our city. The first few cars are coming down. Who's the first person to actually move in? Earl Graham. Hmm. Well, Earl Graham. 
gonna watch you. There we go. Oh my. Well, the industry's really taking off. That Earl Graham lives on the other side of the road. Dun, 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 dun. I have no idea where though. Oh. See these guys, they're all parking. They're going to their new houses. Which don't actually have walkways yet. Hey, you have a family. What's this kid's name? What's your name? You're Emma. You're Oscar. No, you're not. You're actually Omar. The government demands that his name is Omar. We're gonna follow you, Omar. You're an uneducated child. There we go. Well, that's Omar, everybody. Now, I would say something about like Paradox and so on. No, a Colossal Order has had all their games published by Paradox, including this one, and all of them have been smash uh, successes. So, uh, Paradox really knows their stuff. Now, as you can see, there is no traffic really coming into the city so far. Um, I do want to upgrade these all to highways, eventually. But first thing first, we have to start making positive money. And in order to do that, we need more roads. Because the there's still a demand for residential. So, let's see. Um, so what are my plans for St. Finkel? Well, let's go take a look here. We have this huge area to work with, and we'll be able to see more of it as, um, um, we expand further, and so what I'm thinking is I want this to all be, like, residential area, and I might do forest industry temporarily here, but then I'd like to make all this, like, farmland, and I don't know if I can really do that, I can't look at the natural resources yet. So we'll just see how much farmland is over there. There we go. We're a little hamlet now. We have all this stuff. Now, before I do anything, I am going to build a garbage dump. Because I didn't do that. Um, the last time I played a match, uh, some city skylines, and it just went downhill very fast. Now we're going to increase um, the amount of residential we can have, and it can't quite go under the tree track. The goal of this is to kind of alleviate, um, well, no. Uh, for some reason I was thinking of alleviating stress. I'm not sure why. We, we might do things with trains eventually, too. So let's take a look at our city. Uh, it's in shape now. Still negative in the economy, but you can see dump trucks are starting to move around. No. Put this on maximum speed. Some new houses are being built. Quadcopters, there we go. And, uh, it depends on what we have uh, for a city, but we might do a, um, I might make this like a touristy island, actually.
Now, I would like to build a forestry industry in this area and replace this all with, like, um, town, um, towny stuff, like houses and so on, because I'd like houses to go in this area. I say that, but I'm not really sure, just because of how the highway is right there, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Um, Alright, everything's looking goodish right now. We're in the positive. And while we're positive, okay, well, it looks like houses are still kind of wanted, so let's build the road. Save there. Some more houses are being built. Oh, this area is slightly uphill than the rest of the town. So these guys get with their really small, crappy house after are forced to live in the shadow of this guy with a slightly bigger, crappy house. Not sure I would want to live in the shadow of my neighbor, but you know, stuff happens. Now we need to save up money for healthcare and education. Oh, oh boy. And the fire department and police department. Oh god. That's a lot of stuff. Now, we're going to put all our necessary stuff right here. And that's where we're going to put this. Why? Because we can. But where would you want a fire department? right here. Where would you want a police station? Nowhere. We can't afford that. But I am going to call this an episode, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you've been enjoying. Um, tune in next time for the uh, next uh, so you can see what happens next as we continue developing St. Finkel. Alright, guys. And I have been Finkel 11 and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.